Hey guys, welcome back to the Weightlifting Lab, and today we are doing the kettlebell floor press. Absolutely awesome chest, chest exercise, so stick around, we'll show you how it's done. Hey guys, welcome back to the Weightlifting Lab. Today we're going over the kettlebell floor press. Um, so I have my bell right here and I'm going to get set up for the exercise and show you guys how it's done. Okay, so a couple of uh, key points that you want to know is it's very important that you get in and out of this exercise. So you want to be careful while doing it. I'll show you the finer points there. Um, also, go light the first couple of times um, as you're working your way up, especially if you're new to kettlebells. They, they do have a tendency and what they're meant to do is kind of throw you off balance to an extent. Um, to actually initiate stabilizer muscles. They're, they're very, very good at that, okay? So, but that being said, sometimes they can feel a lot heavier um, than just a traditional dumbbell or weight plate or something like that. So just be careful with them. Um, so for the kettlebell floor press, what you're doing is essentially um, simulating a bench press, but only a bench, uh, only a bench press or a chest press from where your elbow would touch the ground. Because obviously on a bench, you can get much deeper. So you're working with a limited range of motion when it comes to how far back you can drop your elbow. You wanna do your best during this exercise to keep your joints stacked, so keep your elbow and your wrist stacked or your forearm vertical when doing this movement, okay? But you're only gonna be able to get here. So isometric holds in certain positions tend to make that joint and that musculature stronger in that position. So this is really, like if you equate this to the bench press, how it should help you get stronger is in this position of the bench press, this range of motion of the bench press. So when the bar is kind of at that midway point, or for a lot of people, the sticking point that they can't work through in their bench press. So it's a very important exercise. It will help you get past your sticking points if you do it enough and you do it correctly based on a program built for you. So down to it. What we do want to do is do our best to keep those joints stacked, keep a nice vertical forearm, but also you want to keep this 45 degree angle between your humerus, your upper arm bone, and your torso. Okay, and then from there, what you're going to do is press up. You're going to go from the bottom of the chest or bra line, nipple line area, depending on your build, how you're built. So you can see my fist is going to be at my nipple line here, and then I'm going to press the bell up and back. So it's gonna end at my area of support, which is right in line with my shoulder joint. So this would be where I can hold the bell all day long without it pulling me backwards or without it pulling me forwards or frontwards, okay? So from your area of support, your shoulder joint, to the bottom of your chest, okay? So you're pulling it back and down, but you're gonna be ending here because it's a floor press, and you're pulling it, or pushing it, sorry, up and back. Okay, so let's get right into it. So. You are going to lie sideways on the ground, okay? You're going to get two hands on the bell, and you're going to shift the bell with both hands, and shift your weight, roll over onto your back. From here, you want to stack those joints so your forearm is vertical, you're going to set your 45 degree angle, make sure your 45 degree angle is set between your humerus and your torso, like we mentioned. You're gonna take your opposite hand and place it on the ground, and you can really use it to stabilize and press into the ground, okay? Lift your chest and pull your shoulders back and down, so you have a nice arch under your back, nothing too crazy, but you can reach through. Support it there, the arch is our support, and we're gonna press to the ground with our opposite hand and keep our feet planted, Press through the ground, up and back to our area of support, squeezing the chest at the top of the movement, okay? From here, you're gonna lower under control, keeping that 45 degree angle, put the arm back down onto the ground, and repeat the press up and back, squeezing at the top. Each time you press up and back and squeeze, you should really feel this movement. Pull it down, chest is high, press back up to the top of that movement. Pull it down, 45 degree angle, everything under control, press back up to the top of that movement and squeeze. When you're done, both hands, reach back and place the bell on the ground. I can't tell you how important that is. Um, and then let the bell go and then sit up with it. When you're going to switch to the other side, 
It's pretty simple. Put the bell down the same way. Place your hands on the ground. Flip around the bell like that. And set up the exact same way on the other side. Two hands. Rotate forward. Elbow at the 45 degree. Okay. Joints stacked. Press up and back through the ground. Bring it back down. Area of support. Press up and back through the ground. Bring it back down. If you're going to put it down, both hands and back. Okay? Don't try and put it back and down with just one hand because you're risking your rotator cuff and rotator cuff injury when you do that. Okay, guys, so that's the kettlebell floor press. Hope you liked it. Try it out. Great exercise. Um, usually you're using that for a strength exercise in the 3 to 10 to 3 to 12 rep range. Uh, sorry, 3 to 12 sets. 3 sets of 12 reps or 3 sets of 10 reps range, depending on what your goals are and what you're looking to do. And of course, if you want a program that's specifically designed for you, your goals, your limitations, please head on over to weightliftinglab.com, check us out. Uh, we'd be more than happy to book a free consultation with you to at least go through your goals and help you understand how a program will work for you and should be set up specifically for you and your goals. If you like this video guys, send us some comments. If you want to see any particular videos done, let us know too and we'd be happy to make them. We'll see you again next time here at the Weightlifting Lab. Please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or you want to see a particular video made, please enter it in the comments section. I answer all comments. Thanks for supporting the Weightlifting Lab.